The following program is sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies. Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We're very glad you joined us this morning. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center, Studio Arts and Glass, Kiko Auctioneers and Realtors, and of course our te- technical producer, J.D. DeAngelos. In the studio with me is Brad White, a compounding pharmacist. All right, good morning. When most people think of a pharmacist, they think of that friendly professional lab coat behind the tall pharmacy counter counting pills, a la Seinfeld style. Well, that's not all we do, guys. At the Medicine Center Pharmacy, the job of the pharmacist isn't just about filling prescriptions. It's about helping people live healthier lives. Pharmacists coordinate all your medications from all your doctors at a single point of coordination on your health care team. And best of all, they're available to talk to you any time, any place. So no appointments necessary. Today we'd like to talk and share with you a little bit about what we do as pharmacists every day at the Medicine Center and some of the services we offer, and most importantly, we'd like to answer any questions you might have. So if you have any questions, you can post them up on our live Facebook feed, and we'll do our best to answer them. We'd like to remind our listeners you can also grab our program on our podcast, which is available in the App Store of your favorite smartphone. Just look for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and you can listen to any of our programs anytime. So... At the Medicine Center, we like to say we don't just know your medicine, we know you. Can you explain how important a pharmacist is to your health care, Brad? I think that um, we as a healthcare care professional have an interesting role, and we're very accessible. Um, I would say we're probably the most accessible healthcare care professional because you generally don't have to call and make an appointment. You can walk in and talk to us just about on demand. Um, we give you more than 10 or 12 minutes. You know, doctors are, are, are busy and held to a lot of restrictions by the insurance plans and the, the groups that they work with to try to see as much of and answer as many questions as possible for you. But with the pharmacist, you have the opportunity to interact with us generally 12 to 14 times a year on average, whereas you might only see your doctor once or twice. So um, we can help answer your questions about your prescriptions. Um, oftentimes people bring problems to us. We end up being kind of a a triage point or a a problem solver, if you will. Um, Many people may not realize it, but when um, maybe we have a communication issue and your pharmacist, uh, or you're out of prescription refills or you're out of, um, you have a problem, we kind of end up being the ones that try to have to fix it for you. So whether we try to run interference between the prescriber and you or the drug supplier that maybe is out of stock of a medication, you know, we end up trying to help you fix that problem as best as possible. The flip side of that is sometimes it also becomes the appearance that it's our fault when we can't fill your prescription due to an insurance limitation or a prior authorization, but we try to help you work through those at all costs. Um, You know, so generally we we wear many hats, and um, we appreciate being a resource and try to make sure that we can help – help you meet your healthcare goals as much as possible. We provide immunizations. We can answer questions about medications. We check your medication profiles for drug interactions. Um, a lot of different stuff. So since the beginning of my career in pharmacy, the cost of prescription medications has been a, a, a really big time point. I've heard you mention some tips for cost savings at the pharmacy. Can you share them with our listeners? Cost is a big issue, especially recently. Um, We do seem to have a little bit of relief that some of the generic medications are coming down in price. We had a period of time where there was an escalation for no real good reason other than consolidation in the industry. But uh, there's a number of different ways to save money at the pharmacy or really just for your medical prescription expenses. The first thing I'd recommend is you make sure you're honest and open with your prescriber. It doesn't help if you you withhold information about a medication you're taking or not taking or an over-the-counter medication you might be taking that could affect um, the way your therapy works with a prescription medication. So it's important to make sure that you share all that information with your doctor. Um, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You know, a lot of these drugs have big, long names. They're complicated. They're hard to pronounce. They're even harder to understand sometimes. If you have high blood pressure or diabetes, you could be taking two or three different medications for what seems to be treating the same problem, but
but you know what? They all work differently, and they work together to help reach that common goal. So don't be afraid to, you know, be humble, ask questions. That's what we're there for, to help you understand why you're taking something. Most of all, don't tell your doctor you're taking something when you're not, because, you know, if they're going to check your lab work and find out that your cholesterol is still off the wall and you're not taking your cholesterol medication, you know what they're going to do? They're going to give you probably another medica- medication, which costs more money, probably doesn't need to be added, but it's going to complicate your medication regimen and cause more frustration. So don't be afraid to be open and say, look, doctor, I just forget to take it every day. You know what? We have solutions for that, and we can talk about those later. Um, the other thing is generics. Don't be afraid to utilize generic medications. Generics get a bad rap. You know, you go to one of the big box stores and they've got their big section of store brand products or generic products and you think of maybe toilet paper or paper towels and they're of lower quality and they're rough and they scratch and they don't work as well. It's not the same thing for generic prescription medications. If there's one thing we have in this country, it's a heck of a lot of regulation and laws and government interaction. And one thing that that trickles down to is prescription drugs. And um, there are ridiculous restrictions in place that sometimes are so restrictive it actually reduces access for you, the patient. But um, they're in place to protect you. And I have confidence that my family can use generic medication safely, and you should too. And there's no sense in spending money, hundreds of extra dollars a month on brand new medications to pay for all that advertising when you don't have to. There's also manufacturer coupon cards. Uh, Manufacturer coupon cards don't always apply in every situation, but sometimes with the ridiculous expense of some of these brand name items, there is an opportunity where you might be able to benefit from a manufacturer discount card program that can help save you some money on the copay side. So we try to make sure that we let our patients know whenever those are available in the pharmacy. Some of our computer systems are actually integrated with systems that automatically apply these cards for your benefit. But don't be afraid to ask and see if there's something out there or some patient assistance program that might help you take the edge off some of these higher copays. Okay, Brad, we're back to school time. We've got school buses running around all over town and um, kids walking across streets, things like that. So please be careful. And tell us, uh, um, tell the audience about our free vitamin, children's vitamin program. Well, it's probably been about, gosh, maybe eight or nine years that we've been doing it maybe a little longer, but we do a a free kids vitamin program. So once a month, a parent or caregiver can come in the pharmacy and sign up their child ages, uh, grades kindergarten through fifth grade. And you can come in and you can get yourself a free bottle of kids vitamins. Um, they're children's chewable vitamins. So if you have a situation where they can't swallow tablets, that's no problem. Um, these are chewable. We'll give you a free bottle every month. And it's something that you can use to uh, help improve their general health nutrition. Um, You know, getting a balanced diet in this day and age isn't easy, but it's one of the things that uh, possibly can be a nice little addition, Um, especially, you know, it won't be too long, but we've got cold and flu season coming here. So um, prepare your kids for for what they're going to be up against. And it's a nice program. And, um, you know, we've talked with different schools. We've talked with um, nurses. And everybody really likes the idea of helping improve general health. So let's move on to compounding. I'm proud to say that Brad is a compounding pharmacist. So tell us, Brad, um, about what a compounding pharmacist is and does. And I know that it's held to rigorous standards. Um, Take over. Well, compounding is probably one of the most exciting and rewarding and fun things that I feel we do at the pharmacy. And it's exciting and rewarding because we are able to help patients meet a need that commercial manufacturers can't. So I have some examples to help you draw a conclusion because compounding may seem a little strange as a word or a concept. But, you know, think about this. Think about, um, let's say you had a baby and it was premature and that baby had a heart condition. Well, there aren't any manufacturers out there that make blood pressure medications for children that weigh two and three pounds, okay? So what we're able to do is we're able to take FDA-approved medications and put them in a custom dosage dose and a custom delivery form. So what we could do is we could probably make this child a suspension with a special dose for their condition. 
Um, and that's something that we're able to do on a daily basis across a wide variety of drug therapies and patient conditions. So what we can do is we can make different drugs that your doctor would order by prescription. Um, we can compound them into special dosage forms like tablets and capsules and lollipops and lip balms and suppositories and creams and ointments and gels, whatever might be appropriate to meet your need. So your doctor might want to use a certain medication to treat uh, psoriasis for you, but maybe it doesn't come in a form that you can tolerate. Um, so we can help meet that need. So that's pretty exciting. And as far as regulations go, you're right. If, um, if you've ever been sent to the hospital by your doctor, um, your doctor's not going to send you to a hospital that isn't accredited because all hospitals are accredited. And if you've ever been an inpatient and had an IV, it's most likely you've had a compound because an IV is, by definition, a compounded medication that's specially made for your condition. So that's kind of an interesting concept. We're just able to do that at the local pharmacy level for you, um, and we don't have to stick a needle in your arm. So hopefully that gives you some comfort. But we are held to high standards. Um, our pharmacy, the Medicine Center in New Philadelphia, is an accredited compounding lab by ACHC. Um, I don't know why you'd choose a compounding pharmacy that isn't accredited. There are some around that provide services. So be very wary of where you go. I don't think you'd want to take your car to a mechanic that isn't certified. So make sure you're checking your, checking your regulations and, again, ask questions. So let's move on to low-dose naltrexone. I know you're excited about this product. Can you tell the listeners a little bit about LDN? LDN is a fascinating product. Um, LDN stands for low-dose naltrexone. Um, LDN is an opiate receptor blocker, and it works at this receptor in your body. It's not a new drug, um, but when it's used off-label at very low doses, it's been shown in many trials to have some therapeutic benefits off, uh, across a number of different therapies. Um, the 50-milligram dose of naltrexone was originally approved by the FDA in 1984 to treat opioid and alcohol addiction, but we're finding other uses now for it. So tell us a little bit more about it. So there's a number of... What conditions? Okay. So there's a number of different conditions uh, that can be treated with it. Interestingly enough, uh, back in 1985, Dr. Bernard Bahari uh, was a New York physician, and he discovered purely by accident for some reason, that much smaller doses between a half a milligram and nine milligrams could, tr could treat patients and modulate the immune system and provide relief to those suffering from autoimmune diseases. Um, today we use this particular medication to help as an adjunctive therapy to treat conditions like fibromyalgia, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, Lyme disease, multiple sclerosis, and psoriasis, just to name a few. So how does it work? So LDN works a couple of ways we believe the mechanism works. Um, it blocks opioid receptors, and that has been shown to upregulate endorphin production. And endorphins actually interact with the opiate receptors in the brain to help reduce the pain perception, similar to the way morphine and codeine do. And when endorphin levels are high, we feel less pain and fewer negative side effects of stress and, and pain. It also affects uh, a component of the immune system, and it's called a toll-like receptor. And it's believed that this effect on the immune system helps to cause an anti-inflammatory or immune dampening effect. Okay. Um, first break is here. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Men like Paul White love studio arts and glass. Why? We wrap all of his gifts. Gifts like hand-blown paper whites, ornaments, jewelry, and stunning sterling silver and precious stones like amethyst and crystals. After 30 years, Studio Arts and Glass is known for creating and restoring stunning stained glass. Just ask Paul White. Studio Arts and Glass. 
on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. With a heart attack, every second counts. Every moment the blood supply to your heart is cut off or reduced leads to heart damage or death. Mercy Medical Center can stop a heart attack in record time. Mercy is the only hospital in the nation that can open a blocked artery right in the ER just minutes after arrival, saving lives and preventing further heart muscle damage. That's because Mercy's Emergency Chest Pain Center was America's first to achieve full accreditation and the first to install a fully functional cardiac catheterization lab just a few steps away from our ER doors. The average time in the U.S. from ER arrival to opening of a blocked heart artery is 64 minutes. At Mercy, thanks to our ER cath lab and the area's most experienced emergency heart care team, it's faster. We're capable of opening a blocked artery in as little as five minutes. If you have heart attack symptoms, get to Mercy. We can stop a heart attack in record time. To learn more, visit cantonmercy.org slash heart. You won't want to miss this upcoming Kiko Auction with Bill Gill Jr. at the Kiko Auction Gallery, 3201 Parkway Street Northwest in Canton on Tuesday, August 27th. At 3 p.m., you'll find fine original art, including famous cartoonist Doug Wilde, oriental rugs, Indian artifacts, jewelry, advertising sign, dolls, bears, and other antiques. Don't miss this auction. You'll regret it. Call Bill Gill Jr. at 330-418-8727 or visit KikoAuctions.com for directions and more information. Are you tired of spending time sorting your medication? Hi, pharmacist Paul White for the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Whether you are a caregiver or personally take medications, our pill packets will change how you take your medication forever. Instead of multiple pill bottles, you'll want to receive one easy dispensing box that contains all of your medications in individual packets. Organized by date, time, with instructions clearly labeled, it's simple, convenient, and safe. Call or stop by your local Medicine Center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. Welcome back to Health Matters, the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Brad and I are sharing money tips at the pharmacy today and many other subjects. Have a question posted on our live Facebook feed. So we were talking about LDN before we went to the break. Why haven't we heard of this before? Well, that's a good question. LDN is, is low-dose naltrexone for those just joining us, and it's a product that's been found to help um, with patients that have different autoimmune disorder conditions that they have uh, trouble treating. You know, it's kind of interesting. You know, a lot of things happen in, um, in medicine purely by accident. Um, sometimes drugs are developed for a specific goal, and they end up having an effect that they find out has other effects that are totally different. Um, you know, believe it or not, one of the best examples of that is the drug Viagra. That drug was uh, originally designed for a totally different reason, and they found that um, a side effect was it helped with men with erectile dysfunction. So as far as low-dose naltrexone goes, um, you know, naltrexone was designed to help with alcohol abuse at a really high dose of 50 milligrams or more per day. But for some reason, Dr. Bernard Bahari um, decided to use really low doses of between half and nine milligrams in patients originally that had HIV infections back in the 80s. And patients that had 90 days to live were living over three years because they found that they were having benefits to the immune system that helped modulate different side effects that were causing it to fail. So the thinking is is that um, because the patent's been expired for years, um, no big drug company is willing to do a big study and a big marketing campaign for it because they're not going to be able to patent it again because it's already exceeded its patent life. Um, but the really fascinating thing is is there are a lot of individual researchers who are finding benefits in their patient populations. And in the past four and a half, five years, there's been a, a huge increase in studies that have been done by practitioners. And there's over 1,200 studies that have been published um, recently. So... And it's it's not small it's not small organizations either. Big renowned organizations like Harvard, Stanford, Dartmouth, Mass General. There's some really heavy hitter people doing some research on this particular medication to see if it can help people and benefit their conditions that have been troubling them for years. So what about side effects? Side effects is a great question. Um, one of the most common side effects for the the naltrexone is um, sleep disturbances and vivid dreams. 
Um, sometimes you can have some nausea too. Generally, these these particular problems resolve in the first couple days of treatment. I kind of ironically had a patient tell me once when I was reviewing the side effects with him. He said, well, my dreams have been pretty boring lately, so I'm looking forward to having some vivid dreams for a couple of days. <laughs> so, you know, it kind of depends on your way of looking at things. But um, I would encourage that if, if someone listening is, is struggling with something like fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue or or or, or rheumatoid arthritis or, or, or any of these conditions that are autoimmune related that you can get some more information about it. It might be worth looking into because the side effect profile really is minimal. How about um, prescription? Do we need one? Great question. It is a prescription medication. Um, so it would be, you would need to work with your provider. We could help you work with your provider to help educate them and educate yourself on what might be appropriate for you. One of the interesting things about low dose naltrexone is, is, it's not a one-size-fits-all dose. Um, currently, we're working with about 23 different doses and protocols to help treat patients across a wide variety of autoimmune diseases. So you do need a prescription, um, and you do need a compounding pharmacy because the custom dose that you need to use is going to be prepared by us in a capsule generally. Um, we can do liquids also, but generally you're going to have a, a, titation, a titration schedule that's going to go across four to six weeks until you find your optimal dose. So I would suspect that, that um, our listeners could learn more about this on the Internet or, or about our, from our pharmacists. Well, what do you think? They could. There's actually some very good resources on the Internet. Um, one of them actually – there's a couple different things. One of them is um, the LDN Research Trust, and the LDN Research Trust um, – was founded by Linda Elsgood, and she has put out this particular book, um, the LDN book, which has excellent information. You can get it at the Medicine Center Pharmacy at a discounted rate. Um, we're also going to have a seminar in September and October and November, um, the first Thursday of the month at 6.30 p.m. at the Hampton Inn in New Philadelphia. It's right off 77, so it's a, it's a couple hundred yards off the freeway, so it's a real quick trip. But we're going to review um, the information and the research that's out there about LDN and the possible benefits that you can have that you might be able to have if you've been having trouble with some of these autoimmune diseases. And um, there's a variety of medical conditions out there. Like I mentioned, there's been 1,200 research studies done across all kinds of different things from ALS to Lou Gehrig's to arthritis to psoriasis to, to uh, multiple sclerosis. So come join us. Um, it's a free event. Um, we'll talk for about an hour and answer questions afterwards. And, um, I think it's something you could get a lot out of. So we welcome you to join us. So we're going to have food. <laughs> <laughs> we might have some coffee and cookies or something, okay. but come with dinner in you so that we have time right. to talk. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about, um, our unit dose packaging, um, as our next subject. We're just about at break. So maybe you might want to break into the subject for about a minute. Well, you know, one of the things that's been really interesting in pharmacy in the last couple of years is everybody's so busy and medication regimens are getting more complicated. Um, I don't know about you, but, you know, sometimes I forget to take my vitamins at lunch. And it's one thing to miss a vitamin, but if you forget your blood pressure medication or your diabetes medication, that could have an effect that could result in hospitalization. So we have some pretty neat tools that we can share with you um, to help with not only trigger your memory, but help it help be more organized so that you don't have to always remember to take your medication. We can help remind you. So it's pretty slick, and we'll talk about that after the break. M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X dot com. Thanks for joining us this morning on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Hi, this is Brad White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Perhaps you've gotten the urge to venture outside and clean up the garage or do some yard work, resulting in muscle aches and pains. If you have sore muscles or aching joints, you may want to consider a prescription pain-relieving cream available with a prescription at the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Our pharmacists can work with you and your physician to get topical pain creams that can be rubbed directly on the source, reducing inflammation and pain. Topical creams avoid troublesome side effects and dependency issues that can be caused by oral medications. The Medicine Center Pharmacy has an accredited compounding laboratory, and it is your source for custom medications. Custom compounded pain-relieving creams, available only at the Medicine Center Pharmacy, where wellness begins. 
Visit us at MedShopRx.com for the pharmacy nearest you. That's MedShopRx.com. Men like Paul White love studio arts and glass. Why? We wrap all of his gifts. Gifts like hand-blown paper whites, ornaments, jewelry, and stunning sterling silver and precious stones like amethyst and crystals. After 30 years, Studio Arts and Glass is known for creating and restoring stunning stained glass. Just ask Paul White. Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Just in, a new truckload of great merchandise at the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville. You'll find Hamilton Beach appliances, suntan products, beach towels, swim toys, shampoo, skin care, super prices on Crest toothpaste, Starbucks coffee, candy bars, electronic accessories like buy one, get one free, back to school, girls and ladies Levi's, and lots, lots more. Half off and out by store in Louisville, next to the Medicine Center Pharmacy. See us on Facebook or halfoffhotbuys.com. Incontinence. Nobody wants to talk about it, but many people have to deal with it. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacies. We recently made a large purchase of underpads and adult diapers. Many brands are now in stock and all at half price. You can save many dollars by purchasing these incontinence products at the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. We also have compression hosiery, many brands in stock, and all at gigantic savings. Stop in the Medicine Center Pharmacies and save on all your health care needs. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and I'm your host and pharmacist, Paul White. Today, Brad and I are discussing pharmacy services. We've got a lot more to cover this morning, so let's get back to the show. And, and we, we went to the break uh, with a brief uh, talk about um, featuring uh, unit dose packaging. So where are we at on this, Brad? Well, we do a good job every week of bringing props, and we didn't bring a prop for that, so I guess we kind of blew it. But, um, but you know, one of the things that I was highlighting was is we have patients of all ages, um, caregivers who are trying to help uh, their parents or even themselves if they're busy executives and they're traveling all over the country, try to organize their medications in a fashion that it's easy to take, easy to remember, and, and sometimes easy to take with you. So we have... Um, a number of different features that can help patients do that. I mean, we have the traditional pill bottles like you've seen for decades. But, you know, we have a new program where we can put your medications in a nice little blister pack, and um, you can tear off today's dose for lunch or dinner and take it with you, throw it in your lunch bag, um, throw it in your purse, and um, it's portable. It's got the drug name, the time to take it, and, um, and what you need to take at any given time. So... If you have 10, 12 different medications that you take three or four or five times during the day, instead of having to deal with 12 bottles, you might have four or five packets. And this packet is for 8 a.m., and this packet's for noon, and this packet is for bedtime. Um, It can greatly simplify and make sure that you remember to take your medication and if you miss a dose, you'll be able to see the time stamp that's on the packet, and you'll know right away, oh, rats, I missed my lunchtime dose. And you can call us at the pharmacy, and we can help you decide how to manage that to make sure that um, you, you get covered for that particular dose of medication that you needed. Um, because if you do miss a dose, it doesn't always mean that you skip it and wait till your next one comes up. Give us a call at the pharmacy, and that's one of the things that we're here for, is to help you figure out how to troubleshoot some of these problems that come up. But the what we call adherence is the fancy industry word. Adherence packaging or medication packaging is by far the fastest growing service that we offer in the pharmacy. A lot of people really like the convenience. Um, you can take it with you. You can organize your medications. And we use it from 20, 30-year-old executives that fly around the country and live in and out of suitcases to patients that are in assisted living facilities or even if they're just homebound. So it's a really great service. Sounds expensive. It does sound expensive, doesn't it? Yep. I will tell you that the machines are expensive. Um, but one of the benefits we have of being able to offset that ex- expense is to share it with all of our populations. Um, we originally bought the machines to use in 
assisted living and long-term care facilities, and we realized that the need was so great for patients that walk in the pharmacy every day that we're able to leverage that investment and share it at no charge for free with our walk-in customers. So don't be afraid to ask and see. We've got nice boxes in the pharmacy, and you can check them out. And um, we've got some features on our website coming soon that you can look in to see. But if you forget to take your medications or you have a lot of medications to manage, Put it on your to-do list to call the Medicine Center, and we can help you organize that into a simple strip packaging. Okay, so when I started as a pharmacist many, many years ago, uh, the meds, available meds, the available prescription meds, uh, quantity-wise and or therapy and, and et cetera, et cetera-wise, um, were slim, okay? So today uh, we have multiple prescription drugs for cholesterol, antidepressants, uh, whatever, whatever. So, so the the prescribing activity and the and the, the the prescription drugs for various ailments are, are are far more plentiful, and as opposed to thirty, forty years ago, when maybe patients were only taking one drug for blood pressure, um, possibly a mild tranquilizer or even an antibiotic when ill or something like that. Today, there's just multiple medications available for various therapies. So we, as a, a company, decided a long time ago that m- most uh, of these dosing systems that were available uh, weren't really that good. Okay, We had pill boxes, which, of course, we still sell. Uh, we have multiple sizes in our stores. You can make up your own pill boxes if you wish, and uh, I've seen I've seen people sadly try to open one of them, and not that they're not high quality, but spill all the pills out on the floor, on the counter, on the whatever. So, so that kind of led us over to uh, what was called bingo cards, and still called bingo cards, which are um, a card, if you will, with with all of your meds in various pockets. And then, as things got more and more involved, we decided we need something different. So this is when we went to a Parada Pass, which does, in fact, put your medications in little blister packs, as Brad was saying. And this process uh, of packaging um, uh, from our side of the, of the coin takes out the, the tedious uh, time of filling these bingo cards. So we have a lot of patience on these, this new strip packaging is what we call it. And it really saves um, time uh, for the patient. It helps them r- remain accurate in taking their meds. Some interesting stories that we've heard over the days are um, a lady came in and said, you know, my husband's a long, um, long truck driver, drives all across the country, and sometimes forgets his meds. And he said, how can you help me? So, Or she said, how can you help me? So... We came up with this uh, uh, situation for this gentleman where we did package his meds in these blister packages, these strip packages, and um, all of a sudden now he is compliant on taking him, him meds. And it's one of the most important things in taking prescription drugs that you take them at the right time and take them every day as prescribed, not miss any doses. So this is what this compliance packaging helps solve. And this is one example of many examples that people have come to us and said, boy, this really works great for my husband or my wife or my child or whatever. So so we're going to jump over to uh, another um, situation that we help patients with, and that's delivery. And we have, I forget how many delivery drivers working for us now. We've got multiple vehicles running around Stark Tuscarawas County um, for our sto- our stores and our nursing home and long term care facility out of Louisville. So, does this cost, Brad? Nope, we do home delivery for free. Um, and you know, it is a service. There's a lot of patients, especially when the weather gets inclement, that um, either aren't able to drive or aren't confident in driving. And um, we're happy to be able to meet the need to be their resource to get their medication to them. They don't want to use mail order. They don't want to hope that somebody four states away mails their box of prescriptions and it sits on their front porch for three days in the 90-degree heat that we've had this summer. 
Um, they like the door-to-door service and being able to call and talk to our pharmacist and our technician staff and help them get home delivery and organize their medications. Um, you know, we're able to home deliver those um, those pill packs that we talked about. We call them our easy dose packs because they're so easy to use. Um, and, and, you know, one other thing that we failed to mention before I talk more about delivery, having all your medications in that one little box in those packs is really nice because you can take it to your doctor. You don't have to gather up 10 different bottles here's and put them in I, a yeah. bag. Here you go, doc. Here's you you can take the box and here it is. Um, you know, we've had... Patients call us um, that were admitted at the emergency room, and the nurses say, I've got your box here. I just want to verify there haven't been any new additions. Um, you know, it, it almost becomes your portable medication record to give to your physician or to your health care provider if you have an emergency, and that's an important thing to have. So, um, But home delivery is, is also a popular service. Um, you know, our drivers are out there five days a week trying to meet your needs. Um, and we try to be efficient and respect your time too. So we'll assign you a health coach at the pharmacy. And what they'll do is, is they'll call you four or five days before your medications run out and we'll help make sure that we work with you to find out if you have any new medications, if you need any refills from the physician, we'll try to minimize interrupting your doctor four or five times a month by just contacting them once a month for the refills you need, hopefully saving them some time too, to give, give back more time to their patients and um, we'll basically help organize that delivery, hopefully into one, maybe two deliveries a month, so that you know when it's coming. You don't have to wait around for the delivery driver like the cable guy. And um, it's something that hopefully we can help meet your need and um, we can be efficient in your healthcare services. So it's really popular. All it takes is a phone call. If you're not aware, if you have your prescriptions at another pharmacy and they don't offer you home delivery and you'd like to take advantage of that, It's really easy to transfer your prescriptions to the medicine center. All you have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call. Um, You know, our store in Canton, the phone number is 330-455-5422. All the phone numbers are on our website. But um, you can transfer any prescription to us, um, and and we can help meet your need. It's not hard. You're not stuck at the pharmacy you're at. We miss talking about MedSync. Yeah, we didn't really. I kind of highlighted it there a little bit, but we... um, you know, there's a bad word in the pharmacy industry, and we call it MedSync, and I don't like to use the word because I don't want to scare patients or confuse them. But what we do is we like to help work with our patients by assigning them a health coach that helps them be their navigator, if you will. Um, if you've ever been at the hospital, they often have nurse navigators. Well, our health coaches are our pharmacy navigators, and what they do is is they help work with you to make sure that you have all your medications lined up as best we can into one pickup or delivery a month. And um, we found that patients, especially with many disease conditions that take a lot of medications that we've talked about already, it's hard if they've got to make four and five and six trips to the pharmacy every month because they're more likely to put off getting a refill because they've got so much running around to do. Um, we want to keep you out of the hospital. We want to keep you from having a heart-related event or another complication with your disease state. So by organizing or syncing up your medications into one date a month, what we can do is help minimize the stress of picking up or getting a delivery for your medications and hopefully make it more organized so that it's really easy to remember when to take them. You know, the thing. one of the things about MedSync is, and it, and it kind of, uh, zeroes into what I was talking about a little while ago that there were no very few meds early on in my career. Well, no. Again, people are taking a lot of medication. And to pick up your meds in the morning when you take them, oh, I don't have any of this or I don't have any of that, um, which a lot of the times this used to happen you know, with our patient base was, gee whiz, you know, I need this medicine. Can you get it to me right away? Or, or can I come pick it up right away because I forgot to get it filled? Now you have the entire package in front of you, and if your meds are all synced, and you don't have that worry of not having one prescription or maybe even two that you forgot to have refilled. So uh, this this is a really great solution to helping you um, stay consistent on your meds and make sure you take your meds properly and at the right time. So, And with that, our last break is here. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Mm-hmm. 
You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. You won't want to miss these upcoming Kiko auctions with Bill Gill Jr. at the Kiko Auction Gallery, 3201 Parkway Street Northwest in Canton on Thursday, August 29th. At 12 p.m., you'll find variety of jewelry, costume rings, watches, two old metal table lamps with glass slag lamps, modern figural lady table lamp with three light shades, a variety of 12 clocks, three oil paintings, including a sailboat scene signed Alfred Griffith, 1957. Cowboy statue, Pakistani sword with talon, claw handle, oriental scene, watercolor, frame prints, and much, much more. On the same day at Kiko Auction Gallery, you'll find 100-plus oriental rugs. It's Thursday, August 29th. This is at 6 p.m. So don't miss this oriental rug auction. You will regret it. Call Bill Gill Jr. at 330-418-8727 for more information or visit KikoAuctions.com for directions and more information. When we hear the word pharmacy, we think prescriptions, right? Hi, Paul White for the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Stark and Tuscarawas Counties, a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. Of course we carry prescriptions, but our stores carry way more than that. We have a large selection of ostomy and diabetic supplies and compression socks. All of our pharmacies carry a variety of canes, walkers, bath seats, rollators, and commodes, all at super low prices. Our rollators are only $69.95. Call or stop by our local Medicine Center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. With a heart attack, every second counts. Every moment the blood supply to your heart is cut off or reduced leads to heart damage or death. Mercy Medical Center can stop a heart attack in record time. Mercy is the only hospital in the nation that can open a blocked artery right in the ER just minutes after arrival, saving lives and preventing further heart muscle damage. That's because Mercy's Emergency Chest Pain Center was America's first to achieve full accreditation and the first to install a fully functional cardiac catheterization lab just a few steps away from our ER doors. The average time in the U.S. from ER arrival to opening of a blocked heart artery is 64 minutes. At Mercy, thanks to our ER cath lab and the area's most experienced emergency heart care team, it's faster. We're capable of opening a blocked artery in as little as five minutes. If you have heart attack symptoms, get to Mercy. We can stop a heart attack in record time. To learn more, visit cantonmercy.org slash heart. Men like Paul White love studio arts and glass. Why? We wrap all of his gifts. Gifts like hand-blown paper whites, ornaments, jewelry, and stunning sterling silver and precious stones like amethyst and crystals. After 30 years, Studio Arts and Glass is known for creating and restoring stunning stained glass. Just ask Paul White. Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your host and pharmacist, Paul White. Okay, so we're going to talk about flu shots because we are there at the time of the year. Yeah, nothing like talking about sticking a needle in your arm, right? So, um, you know, get protected, not infected is the mantra. Um, Every year the flu vaccine, they work really hard by picking strains from around the world that are floating around to make sure that we can boost our immune systems and give us some protection. Um, To uh, squash some myths real quick, guess what? You can't get the flu from the flu vaccine. Don't use that as an excuse. Myth two, the preservatives they use in them will not cause problems and will not give you autism. Proven, studied, end of story. Um, You know what? Every year people die of flu and pneumonia. Don't be that person, okay? Um, Get to the pharmacy. We have flu vaccine available. We can get you vaccinated. Um, You know what? You don't have to do it this week. Um, you know, prime time for our environment might be beginning of September, beginning of October. As soon as the kids are back in school. But, but you know, yeah, get it, get it done. Put it on your list. You don't have to make an appointment. Walk in. We can help take care of it for you. Um, you don't have to go to the stack here. I mean, if, if you go to your doctor, fine. 
but just get the vaccination for flu and pneumonia. Um, you know, we also have Shingrix vaccines available too. There's been a long time back order. We're working through our wait lists. Um, we still have some vaccine available, so don't be afraid to walk in and see if we can help you out on the spot. But um, vaccinations get a lot of research, a lot of study, and frankly, in my opinion lately, they're getting a lot of bad rap in the in the press. So don't be one of those people who ends up with a condition that you really didn't need to have, okay? Aren't there several kinds of flu vaccines? There's a couple out there. Um, most popular are the quadrivalent flu vaccine. Um, that's the one that 99% of the patients that we'll inject this year will get. There's also a high-dose flu vaccine. And generally, the high dose is for patients that have some type of immunocompromised uh, situation. Maybe they're in a long-term care facility. Maybe they're more susceptible to getting an infection. They're over 65. Um, but um, those are the most two popular ones that, that are out there now. Th- there is a nasal flu vaccine, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's going to be available again this year. But it is a live virus. So that one is you have to be a little more careful with how you deal with. But um, but the other viruses, the other vaccines, excuse me, are killed vaccines. You can't get the flu from them. You know what you might get? A couple days after you get vaccinated, you might get a situation where you might feel like you have a slight temp or feel a little, feel a little malaise or whatever. But that's your immune system making antibodies toward that vaccine. So that's oh, a good thing. Okay. The, there's a suggestion that one of those two uh injectable flu vaccines is for elderly people and as you age your your immunity uh, um, system uh, becomes less effective is that the right the what right way to say that which one is it the um the high dose vaccine is the one that's been studied in patients that are over 65 with a compromised immune system and it's uh it's something that They've found some benefit that there is additional protection for those patients with those particular symptom sets that they can benefit from that high dose vaccine. I kind of like the quadrivalent still, even though because that has four strains. Quad means four, so the quadrivalent vaccine has four strains in it, and right now the high dose um, flu vaccine only has three. So you get a stronger dose, but one less strain of coverage. Okay, we're getting a little short on time here. Um, How about the Shingrix? Uh, A little bit more uh, dialogue about that. If you've watched TV and you've seen Terry Bradshaw talk about shingles or you have a friend who's had shingles, you don't want it, okay? Um, This is a condition that um, is not fun. It is usually a skin condition that can have effects on your nerves. And if you have long-term nerve damage, your skin will heal and the rash will go away, but you will always have pain. So it's something that I would recommend you talk to your doctor about or give us a call at the pharmacy if you have questions about it. But the vaccine is very safe. It's been used for a long time, and it's something that can give you coverage for a significant period of time and reduce your risk of long-term neuropathy pain, which is what we call the nerve pain that can hang around. So reduce your risk of suffering and make sure you get that vaccine. Um, I have a, a colleague right now who has been talking about getting the shingles vaccine for a long time. Well, guess what? Now her husband has the shingles, so she's wishing she got it. So don't wait, no, okay? She's wishing she got the shot. She <laughs> is. Not the shingles. <laughs> she's wishing she got the shot. Um, okay. Shingles actually attacks the nerve endings, and does it destroy them? It does enough damage that it can cause constant pain. So what happens is is your body is sending pain signals to the brain saying this hurts, and it's something that um, is like a dull ache that's always there. If you think about when you lay on your arm and it falls asleep, and it that when it first wakes back up and that blood starts flowing again and it's that uncomfortableness, that's what it can feel like. So you don't want to have that long term. That would be really miserable. And you do have skin eruptions normally too. You do. I mean, it's almost like poison ivy. I yeah. mean, you know, it can be like that chicken pox, poison ivy, sure. itchy, blistery, nastiness. And if you had chicken pox, you have that virus in your body. Okay. And you can get the shingles even if you didn't have the chicken pox. Exactly. So, okay, we're running out of time here and we've got more to talk about, but. Thanks for listening today. We'd like to remind our listeners, if you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your health care provider. 
Thanks to our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center, Studio Arts and Glass, Kiko Auctioneers and Realtors, and, of course, our technical producer on the scene today, J.D. DeAngelis. As always, we'd like to thank our listeners for joining us on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Have a healthy week. We'll see you right here next Friday on News Talk 1480 WHBC. And don't forget, you can register for our LDN course that we're going to talk on our seminar on September 5th at 6.30 at the Hampton Inn in New Philadelphia. Just give us a call at the pharmacy at 330-339-4466, or you can send us an email to reserve your spot to rsvp at medshoprx.com. That's rsvp at medshoprx.com. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, your pharmacists, Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now at MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. Be sure to join us next Friday at this time for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. The preceding program was sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies.